Hi guys, I'm Chris, I'm an osteopath and recently in the clinic we have been busy and the reason we've been so busy is that working from home hasn't been kind to people's bodies. What I say about working from home is that it creates this strange paradox where people seem to be both more active and more sedentary at the same time. So what's happening is that people aren't commuting so they're using that time to go for a run or go to the gym, which is great. But then at the same time, when they're sitting, they are sitting for long periods of time. They're stuck to video conference calls and they can't stand up and they're glued to their computer. So when they're working, they're staying much more still than usual. So there's this strange paradox. They're more active, which is good, but more sedentary, that's bad. And then that what ends up happening is that they end up in the clinic. So I've had a few requests asking, what do I do at home to look after my body when you're sitting at the desk? And really, there's not much opportunity to stand up. And I get it, I do sympathize. So hopefully today I'll run through a few ideas that can help you stay healthy and stay mobile while working from home. The first thing to say is to move as often as you can. Now the research is really clear on this. What's most important is how often you get up and down. So really, if you can, what we're aiming for, and I know this isn't always possible, but what we're aiming for is every 20 minutes to stand up, have a little wriggle. I'll show you what to do when you have a little wriggle in a little while. As soon as I say this to patients, a kickback I commonly get is, yeah, but I just can't do that because I'm stuck to video conference calls sometimes for three hours at a time. Okay, I get it. Now, I think we're far enough into lockdown now to, for people to understand what's going on. So my tip is tell your colleagues, you're just gonna turn the video off for a second so you don't look silly. Stay glued in to the conversation but you just turn the video off, stand up, wriggle around, move around. I think we're comfortable enough now with video conferencing. If someone says, I'm just gonna turn my video off for a minute, we understand and uh, so you just stand up, have a little wriggle. Sitting down for three hours is not a good thing. And if anything, I bet you, if you tell your colleagues that you're gonna turn the video off for a second, just to have a stretch, they'll do the same. Like no one wants to sit still for three hours. If you're the person to lead that, then I think your colleagues will thank you for it. So out of all of the tips I'm gonna give you today, the number one thing I really want you to try and do is to get up regularly. Aim for every 20 minutes. I know it's not always possible, but chat to your colleagues, turn the video off, keep in the conversation, but just get up and wriggle and I'll show you what to do next. There are some strategies you can use just sitting down and I need to just zoom my camera out a little bit so you can see my legs. And once I've zoomed out, I'll run you through what you can do when you're just sitting at your desk. Okay, so even when you're sitting, you can still stay mobile. And one thing I like to do is cross opposite hand to knee and then use the other hand to reach overhead. So we use this nice dynamic in and out stretch. We're bringing in some spinal rotation and gently reach overhead and do a few gentle bounces into one direction and the other direction. Try and do this every hour if you can. Um, the other thing you can do is just use one hand again, reach to the back of the chair so I don't have a chair. I'm just going to reach to the desk and just try and look as far around as I can. Again, other hand on the outside of this knee. I'm gonna use this hand to help pull me around just to stretch the upper back. One of the biggest factors of sitting still for a long period of time is that it can really tighten up our thoracic spine, the bit where our ribs attach to our spine. So these, these spinal rotations and reaches are a really nice way of mobilizing the upper back. The other thing I like to do, hands behind the head, dropping down into a big slouch, and then using the elbows to really open up and look up to the ceiling, Jet, slouch, open up, have a little wriggle. And then lastly, whilst it's still in this sitting position, um, I say I systemize my fidgeting. So sometimes I sit to the edge of the chair and drop one knee down so I can be typing away. Sit to the other side, drop one knee down, type, type away. Um, sit with the, the knees in, sit with the knees out and the feet in. So you're kind of systemizing a little bit of fidgeting into your sitting posture so that the stresses aren't going through the same ligaments and joints in the same way. You're mixing it up a little bit as you, as you're sitting. Next up, we need to do a few standing exercises. I don't have enough space in this room, so I'm gonna go downstairs, and then I'll show you what to do when you just stand up from your desk, have a few wriggles, and then unstick your hips, your back, your spine, and wake up your core. Let's head downstairs. So as we've discussed, the most important thing is to stand up. And what we're aiming to do when we stand up is just unstick our hips, unstick our spine, and also ignite our core. So a really simple thing that you can do, ridiculously simple, is just to sway your hips. So this is the sort of thing that I encourage people to do once they've turned their video off on their Zoom call and they're just on the phone, no one's gonna know. Or if you're not on the phone or video, then that's even better. You can just wiggle your hips 
have one foot in front of the other and this is going to open up the back hip flexor because hip flexors can get a little bit tight if we sit a lot and here just little twists and turns wriggle around the speed i'm moving at now is the sort of speed i would recommend so relatively fast because what we're doing here is we're not just unsticking our joints but we're also igniting our neurology we're sending signals up to our brain just to wake our body up wake up our core and then you can use your chair or a step um, or if you have to go up and down stairs to grab a cup of tea, you can use the stairs just to put one foot onto the step, drive the hips forwards. This is really going to open up this back hip flexor again and just wiggle around, twist and turn. You can reach and that will open up your tummy muscles as well. Twist and turn, wriggle around little circles, switch sides, wriggle around little circles. So all of this is aiming at opening up your hip flexors turn on your tummy muscles, move and wriggle your spine. One last thing that's gonna help undo all the effects of sitting is to find a door frame or a corner in a wall and whichever hand you fix into the corner of the wall, push forwards with the same side foot. So I've got this line coming from my bicep through my chest, through my tummy to the opposite hip flexor and step forwards with that foot, drive the knee forwards and try and turn your body away from the hand that's fixed. So I'm gonna, with my right hand here, I'm going to turn my body to the left, twist and turn and push and really just open up the chest. If you're busy, you might only need to do that for 10 seconds and each of these movements you could just do really quickly. It undoes the effects of sitting and it ignites the body so that hopefully you don't end up seeing the osteopath. Okay guys, I really hope that helped. The key thing about working from home is to move as regularly as you can and then now you've got a few little strategies that you can use to keep moving when you're sitting at your desk and then also if you get up from your desk. And the other key lesson is maybe just to communicate with your colleagues if you're in a Zoom call for three hours. I get it, I have many patients who are in that situation but it's not optimal. This is one of the reasons we're so busy in the clinic and I don't want all these patients in pain. So tell your colleagues, turn the video off, get up and wriggle around and that should help. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting subscribe. I like to make weekly videos about how to use intentional living to lead to a healthier life and I'll see you next week.